I would disagree with you. You don't want to be vegan, otherwise you would. Like those hens, when they when they are spent, they get gassed, and then they go to chicken nuggets. It's it's up. So, one's it's up. Eggs, oh, fucking possible. Bacon. And I would. How do you know what this was about? How do you know? <laughs> you didn't even read the sign, and you're already trolling, mate. What the? Hell? What the? F my guy. What? Yeah, yeah. What? It's bad. It's so f disgusting, man. So we got the uh, sign here, it says yeah. why aren't you vegan, and I um, assume you read it and then you wanted to sit down and chat about it. So. Yes. First, I would love to establish some ground rules for okay. like where you're at in veganism, right? Okay. Where am I? Yeah, so like what are your feelings around veganism? So like along the lines of, is it the meat industry that you found that going vegan was a kind of like, I don't know, an answer to saying, you know, fuck you to the cruelty of the meat industry? Or do you feel that it was more of a dietary kind of like requirement? Okay, we're saying you want to, you want me yeah. to yeah, like, so, so, establish so, like where you're at. Yeah, for vegan, your, the word vegan has been adulterated a lot, and people yeah, see it as a health yeah. movement, environment movement. So the word vegan, me. veganism is a philosophy that seeks to avoid, uh, exclude the exploitation and cruelty to animals. Okay, that's the that's where the vegan philosophy was Fantastic. founded in 1944. Yes. There's Got a definition you. online: the exploitation and cruelty to animals, you're avoiding that as far as is mm. possible and practicable, meaning mm. able to be practiced. Of course. So that's where I stand, and I think that if people are against uh, cruelty killing exploitation of animals, yeah. um, it shouldn't just be dogs, and it shouldn't be the all just conscious like the beings. domesticated animals, yeah. It should be, you should be consistent across the board, right. and uh, being vegan is living in alignment with that. So okay. basically your actions are in alignment with your philosophy against the exploitation. And that, and that is also your belief? That is my belief. And okay. my, my question to the people that walk past is, why aren't they vegan? I have so many vegan friends. Um, and for example, I haven't gone full vegan, but I've been vegetarian for a very long time. Very, very long How time. How long? Oh, Jesus. Like maybe going on 10, 15 years now. Oh. Yeah, dude. Okay. <laughs> because like back home, um, meat is, well, I was pretty much raised like just, it's part of the natural cycle. We raise animals. For our consumption, we don't go needlessly, like there's not an industry behind it. There is a huge culture around anti-cruelty farming there. So in my opinion, when Can I you went... Give an example? Uh, well, there is this chicken farm, for example, called Elgin. They are an amazing, amazing resource, at least for like really just cruelty-free-ish. What do you mean? For uh, eggs? Well, yes, eggs, okay, like free-range okay. eggs as well as meat. And the thing so they is, do they do eggs and meat out of the same chicken farm. Yes, and Unusual. the thing is, the whole thing is desperately trying to keep as cruelty-free as humanly possible. And how can you so how can you how can you make that claim if you're not there working within that uh, farm? Well, because I used to shop at their one shop that's literally just down yeah, the street. You're a customer from me. to them, like yes. I mean, I, as I'm well not going to tell you what goes on. Yeah, no, but as well as the farmers are out there, and as well as the fact that my mom is also part of the. South African government, so she kind of she does your mum ain't in not. There. Your mum ain't in there. But, but <laughs> no. No, no disrespect to your mum, but she ain't in there, working within the the farm. No, she's not working within the farm, but yeah, that's yeah. not. So how do you know what happens to those animals? Because there is proof and videos, Where, where's as the, well as inspections, as well as farm testimonies, as well as a whole bunch of people that work there. Okay, so th so we, we can talk about this farm. Yes. Okay. So when you're not buying from this farm, yeah, are you vegan? No, I'm vegetarian. Okay, so, so that farm really doesn't matter. But yeah. even though I'd like to, I, I could unpack that farm for the whole time. Yeah. But for me, right now, I want to know why you're not vegan outside of that farm. Uh, because you're using this example here. Over here. Oh, we're you, talking about like right here, right now. Why aren't you vegan? I'm not saying there's this farm. There's this farm. Well, that doesn't mean the rest of the world is this farm. No, you're right. You're, you're in right. the UK yeah. right now. Yeah, fair, fair, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. So, fair. So, I get you, I get you. Yeah. I understand, yeah. Here and now in the UK, I'm fully vegetarian, and the only time that I ever really will maybe potentially venture into meat is, oh god, the last like months and months and months ago. But the whole point is, is that I love eggs. That's just about the only thing. But like, I go vegan cheese, vegan sausages. Okay. Pretty much, okay. it's just okay. it's just eggs. That's the only real. No, I, I use oat milk. I don't actually drink any milk whatsoever. But it's literally just going to try and find the most free range oh, eggs fucking possible. Bacon. And I would. How do you know what this was about? How do you know? <laughs> you didn't even read the sign, and you're already trolling, mate. What the hell? You're from behind. You already know, mate. Hey. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love so basically, um, 
Now, Again, that's pretty now, much the now only you're thing that I'm like not. The only thing you ever eat that isn't vegan. So you right so now, is, is this for ethical reasons? Yeah. You're, so your reasoning yeah. is because it's still the why do you avoid thing. dairy? Oh, dude, the milk industry, man. What the? F it's horrible. Sorry, excuse my language. Uh, yeah, no, dude. Leave. What the? F my guy. What? Yeah, yeah. What? It's bad. It's so f disgusting, man. So it's, what's it's, disgusting about it? Oh. Tell me. Well, forced insemination. The whole. F and just milking cows on end for f***ing hours at a time, like just the filtering process, the, the, the whole just, Gross. it's... Okay, uh, I, feel, I feel you. It's not even, and then we then there's the fish industry at the moment, and it, it's just, it's just there's so There's ethical much. implications with all of them. It, all of them. I want to know specifically for dairy, because you're a vegetarian who doesn't eat fish. You say you only eat meat on occasion. I mean, Every we could months and months. That. I mean, but, but let's just stick to you, so... You, you don't it's buy dairy for the reasons, the ethical yeah, implications the ethical of it? implications. Okay, in, that's interesting. Entirely, entirely. Interesting. So you don't want to give them money, basically? Yeah. yeah right, trying, trying my best. <laughs> Try my absolute best. A lot of people, including myself, um, we get halfway in between and we're like, dudes, it's, we can push it as far as we can, but it's better, it's better than just people saying, that's it, I'm never going vegan or even trying. You know, at least it is. even like I mean, that's progress. It's that's progress better. from like five, ten years ago. There was none of that. There yeah, was yeah. absolutely none of that. There was not like this, okay, cool, maybe yeah. I'll have meat once in a while. It was like cool, Fridays every week. Of course. As a if treat. I was eating six steaks a day and you were doing what you're doing right yeah. now, then that's better. Com com precisely. You know, I mean like torturing, we have, we a, have torturing to... a, a torturing a hostage and then killing him is much worse than me just killing him. So I'm better than the person who tortures and kills the hostage. I know it's an extreme scenario, but Fair. they can both be bad, but one's less bad. <sighs> That's a bit of a trap, as it were, because... Well, well, well <laughs> let me explain. Go on, then. You still buy eggs, no, no worries. Yes. And for those same reasons that you avoid dairy, you really should be avoiding eggs, because the egg industry is just as, if not more, in some cases, horrific mm. and violent and cruel mm. to more beings than mm. the dairy industry. Fair. Yeah, it, a free range egg industry here. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to defend like defend I've them. Their marketing's done, pretty good. Their marketing is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Fair, fair. I mean, that's the thing is that we can get bogged down into so many different kinds of semantics. But the whole fact that I'm trying to say is like I'm not fully, fully vegan. But the fact that I'm not is not necessarily a bad thing in 2022. I think that there has been so much vegan progress from so many people, and like yeah. literally three out of five of my friends. I, I, I'm vegan. with you. Yeah, I'm with you. And that's that's you the are positivity. Doing, you are, this, you this told is me you've been this vegetarian for 15 years. Yes, but this is what I'm saying. Yeah. So when I look at like this wonderful sign, it's like, why am I not fully vegan? It's not necessarily because I don't want to go there. It's just right now. It, I, it I, just, would, I would disagree with you. You don't want to be vegan, otherwise you would, or you're not motivated enough to be vegan. You're in a. So what I found is like people that have been vegetarian for a long, long time, they get mm. into a comfort zone. Uh, fair. Yeah, comfort zone. Like you think, oh, these these are bad, but the egg industry isn't bad. But that might be because you don't know enough about it. Here, at least. In in South Africa, it is. In uh, well, Bali, we had, it we, is. We in had chickens. Europe, it is. You name it. Yeah, but we had chickens back home. Literally. You have chickens yeah. in your backyard. Yeah. Your own chickens. Yeah. Well, but own you chickens. don't go out and use eggs from your backyard. You yeah. don't. When you go out to eat in restaurants, you're eating eggs. Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, and you when you eat packaged food and it's got egg in it, you don't avoid it because it's not from your backyard chickens. I mean, these. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, so there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Yeah. There, where where egg and dairy are just kind of like peppered in there in so many yeah, different I products. Yeah, I get you. But it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's, 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 not it's really. hard out here for it's fucking. Simple. It's very simple because uh, I've been vegan now uh, nine years, going on ten years, and I've shit, been in man. the UK since 2018. Good shit. Uh, off and on, and uh, UK is the easiest place to be vegan on earth, nearly. Fair play, especially and, uh, because now there are so many vegan, entirely and vegan. So I think there's said. even like a vegan burger shop. Like literally just my brother. Yeah. If you use the and app, a vegan pizza cow, shop. What I'm saying is that it's very easy to be vegan. It's not mm. hard at all. Fair. Uh, it's if and you're very intelligent. I can already tell. Oh, hardly, man. I'm I'm literally one of the dumbest of my friends. You're, you're, that, well, you're <laughs> hanging out with smart people. You're smart. You're you're aware. You're chill. You're peaceful. You don't seem cruel, uh. callous. You don't seem like you're just like plants feel pain. That sort of animals. Dude, they're Richmond not, vegan not. sausages, man. Yeah. Changed my life, fam. Yeah, Changed my life. What I would say to you. The egg industry, right, yeah. what they do to the, the egg layers. Yes. And after a certain amount of time, they lose all their feathers from laying egg after egg every single yep. day. The male chicks go to a macerator or they get gassed on, upon hatching. You know, and, all that those goes, and that goes into our chicken nuggets, fam. No, 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 that, that goes to pet food. But oh, what does go to chicken... What? 
yet or fertilizer but what does go to um chicken nuggets are the spent egg layers like those hens when they when they are spent they get gassed and then yeah. they go to chicken nuggets yeah. the mums mm. uh, oh, it's wait, One it's up. they have mums and dads in this big shed uh, that, that fertilize the eggs the eggs come out they go down on conveyor belt the they, male chicks hatch they go into they do the things they take the females they lay eggs for about 18 months then they go to get gassed there's the just there's, there's, there's gassed. no level of it there's no level of it that's that is conscionable even if well. we all just ate eggs, and I sat here and go, why do you, yeah, why do you still eat eggs? Eggs, fair. And we that, can change those the sign. The, why do you still are, eat eggs? Those are the reasons, right? Um, from your side, why one shouldn't. And they're 100% I agree with you. And you know what? Maybe I might just maybe cut out eggs for a little while. You should be motivated, though, because I wouldn't want you to make some flippant decision because you're sitting here and you're a nice guy. No, fair, you, you fair. See, but the whole, to... the whole point is that this is already knowledge that I know of. I just wanted to sit down and have a fuck conversation yeah. veganism yeah. is a good f***ing thing and i wanted to find out your stance it. like yeah. so it's, it's just it's good, good shit i appreciate it's just you good sitting shit. down i appreciate sitting Life down it's nice and uh oh, it is a beautiful thing i would invite let me just give you something because i'll just give you like it's just a little thing that we made and Ooh. we're pretty proud of it actually because Ooh. this is why it's so easy these have options Ooh. um if you like fast food yeah. um these are some documentaries i made this one and this one Ooh. this is one from the uk this is one from australia it kind of applies outwards and you've probably seen the environment ones yeah man in fact this is the best app have a cow because you can just t type it in and you get vegan options wherever you are Ooh. the beginning of this conversation What's i was that? finding a running route you through the ringer about this yeah. farm oh, yeah. the reason i was is because we've exposed so many places like this that are like oh my god they're they're, they're marketing everything so they're, they're getting uh, checks and that we expose labels and, and these humane farms all the time which is always a good thing and uh because they're they, they might propagate something to the public but in reality but behind it's a lot closed different. doors Jeffrey Epstein didn't commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good talking to you, brother. Yeah. Take care, have a good day. Yeah, <laughs>